I'm here with Maura Bellamy, mom, and Lindsay Bellamy, sister of U.S. women's Olympic hockey player Casey Bellamy. They're getting ready to go to, mom, you're getting ready to go to Sochi, Sochi. Russia yep. to watch the games. Let me ask you, what's it like? And I know three of your four kids have played hockey. Mm -hmm. Lindsay, tremendous supporter of all her siblings. But to get that word after all the work, all the early morning and late night ice time, to get the word, and this is the second Olympic team mm -hmm. for Casey, you get the word, you've made it, you're on the team. Yeah, it's a, it's great. I mean, uh, this time around, we got the word at about uh, quarter to two in the morning. So, uh, and she called and she would call even if it was at four o'clock in the morning. But yes, uh, extremely excited, very proud. Uh, I know all the hard work that goes into it. Yeah, it's, for us, we just kind of go with the flow though. Uh, in our family, it's, we really just go with the flow. So it was, it's very exciting for us. And, um, but at the same time, it's, it's just like part of the norm, you know? Mm -hmm. Lindsay, let me ask you now, there, correct me if I'm wrong, three year age difference, your baby sister, about yes. three years younger than, than Casey, right? Is that, uh, give or take yeah. about that, okay. Three or so, yeah. 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 yeah, nothing closer than sisters. Always a little rivalry, I yes. think. But uh, you know, she's she's the hockey athlete. You you've been involved with the high school hockey team at your alma mater at Westfield High, yes. and uh, you've got some musical talent. So so you're going in your own direction too. Yep. Um, yeah. I'm, you sing the national anthem. You have it at hockey games. Westfield yes. High. I uh, sing the national anthem. I sing the national anthem at the high school hockey games, and I played softball in high school too. What's it like now? Both of your older brothers have played professional hockey, American Hockey League, Federal Hockey League, and Casey plays professional as well, the Boston Blades, the Canadian Women's Hockey League, and uh, going to the Olympics for a second time. What's it like to, to follow your sibs and, and see what's going on for them? I love every second of it. I am so proud of um, everything that they have become, and I love watching them play and succeed, and I'm so happy to be part of a Bellamy family. Let's talk about that because, Maura, you've made the point through the years that no matter how hard, and we don't want to take anything away from Casey or your boys, no matter how hard the athlete works, this sport in particular is a family effort because uh -huh. long drives and early morning practice, you, you take ice time when a team can get it in, in a field house or wherever it might be. I know there's stories at one point, I think one of your sons had to drive your your husband drove him, his dad, 70 miles one way to, to get to practices. Yeah. It's This is a family effort. It, it is a family effort, and it, it hasn't been easy. I mean, it's been a lot of fun. Ours, our story is about our journey, though. I talk about this all the time. It's all about the people that we've met along the way. I can't thank everybody enough. There's so many people to thank. It really becomes, it's a little bit of luck as well. The coaches that your kids get, the people that you meet, the support system, it, like they say, it takes a village. In this case, that is the truth. I mean, with all the kids, having three kids playing hockey, and it's it's crazy. I look back on it now, and I, sometimes it's kind of a blur because I, I don't know how we did it all. Afford it, affording it is one thing, but actually putting the time in to get the kids everywhere that they have to go is uh, crazy. And Lindsay was always the one that would come along and uh, tag along. But you know what? It, it was great for her, and she yeah. loved it too. So it's always all, had it's a good time. Good, yeah. <laughs> I got to ask you, I, I read a story, and I think this was before the last Olympics, that, and you're not wealthy folks, the, the Bellamy family from Westfield, you posted bank statements, family bank statements that, on the refrigerator, yes. so, so the kids knew, hey, there's sacrifice to, to get all of you, the three of you, four guys, to these games and, yeah. and the equipment and everything? Well, the funny story about the bank statement, the, it was a bank balance, you used to be able to print it out and, yeah. uh, at the ATM machine. and. When you go to hockey games, the kids always want money for snacks and everything at the hockey game. And the concession <laughs> stands are never cheap. <laughs> no. And so it would be a constant nagging of, Ma, can I have a dollar? Can I have a dollar? And uh, any hockey parent is, that's watching this is going to be laughing because it's just the way that it is. And we used to have to pay for our ice time by the week back mm -hmm. then. And uh, so, yeah, I used to post the bank balance on the uh, right near the phone on the bulletin board with all the schoolwork. And I remember the kids looking at the bank balance when they were little and saying, I remember hearing the two kids talking and saying, we can't ask for any money for the snack bar today. <laughs> you know, so it was a lot of money. To, you know, you had two gallons of milk, loaves of bread, dozens of eggs. We went through a homemade breakfast every morning uh, at our house. and. It was just as crazy as the chaos of making it, but it was all, it's all the great memories that we have of that. Mm -hmm. 
Got to ask you, not to be a downer, there's a very serious side to these 2014 Olympics. They are happening in a part of the world, Russia, where there is significant political unrest, there are threats of terrorism, there, there have been bombings in the areas around mm -hmm. Sochi. The Russian government says, hey, we've got a, a steel wall around Sochi, Olympic Village and the venues, but not everybody's gonna be in the Olympic Village and in the venues all the time. I'm guessing when you go, you're not able to stay within the wall. Maybe you are, I, I hope you are, but I know there've been warnings uh, to US athletes, don't go outside of the security zone and wear a uniform or anything IDing you as, as US. I saw one of the men's hockey uh, USA players said to his family, I wish you wouldn't come because I don't want to worry about you. Mm -hmm. What's that put in your mind for yourself and, and your daughter? Well, I'm proud, I'm so proud to go over there and uh, watch my daughter who represent our country. And when I went to the Vancouver games, it was a lot different than this. We didn't have all of the preliminary warnings about you know going to the Olympics. In this case, I feel like the government, I think the Russian government, the United States government will be on high alert. I think that we will be safe over there. I know that the athletes will not, it won't be the same as Vancouver where the, the athletes can leave the uh, Olympic Village. In this case, I'm sure that the athletes will probably have to stay within the Olympic Village which means that they will be in a very, for them, I think their trip will be a lot different than the previous Olympics for, especially like for Julie Chu, who's been to four Olympics, she, and um, she'll see it, there'll, there'll be just so much difference because they'll be in, a, in such a confined area. For us parents, we were just told that we, when we're in the Olympic Village area, well, there's an Olympic Park, and then there's an Olympic Village. The athletes are in the Olympic Village and all the venues are taking place in the Olympic Park except for the ski, the ski events. So when we're in the Olympic Park, we will be able to you know, don our uh, USA gear and we all take much pride in that. But in, we all have all of our you know, get-ups that we wear. But this time around, we'll have to, when we walk to the venue, we can't really expose ourselves. We have to be very careful. But I'm really expecting that Human nature, I think that people are going to be kind, and I think that Russia is going to want to put on a great show for us, and they want, they're going to want to, you know, please us and make us proud uh, to be on their soil. So I, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm hoping it's a very positive experience. Well, thanks to both of you for coming in. Maura Bellamy, to you especially, good luck, Godspeed, and give Casey all our best. I will. Thank you very much for having us. Thanks Thank so much. You. Thank you.